Hi, I'm Suzanne Schmeling, Director of Education for Associated Skin Care Professionals. In this next video, you're going to see some techniques that you can find in our Skin Pro Education series. Let's get started. Now I'm going to do a galvanic desincrustation since my client has um, some congestion that I want to start to loosen up. I'm going to wet my gauze. And as you'll see here, we have three different units. Well, your long unit is where your client is going to hold that to ground. These two are used for different things. I use the round bowl for disincrustation and then the roller to penetrate product with iontophoresis. I'm going to wrap the ground in wet gauze. It's very important that this is very moist. You don't want to let it dry out. I'm going to have my client hold this. Go ahead and grab on. Then I'm going to apply my desincrustation gel. And I can just apply that in areas that have some congestion. So I'm going to hit the jawline and the T-zone for my client. You can also do a mixture of baking soda and water to get a disincrustation solution. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my unit, make sure that it is all the way off. I'm going to make sure that the rheostat is at one. And then as I move this, I'm going to turn it up. With desincrustation, I like to go between a two and a three on the rheostat. And I'm just going to do small circular movements. I always let my client know that they're going to taste a metallic taste in their mouth and possibly a little bit of tingling. Do this for three to five minutes and then you'll be going to perform iontophoresis. Don't ever lift the unit off of the face while it's on. Make sure that you turn it off and then lift. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out ASCP's Skin Pro Education for more.